All right, the foldable you're going to get today, um, it's just simply, it's a very easy fold. Um, it's just some information I want you to put on there so you'll have it uh, just as another resource. The one you've got, it looks like this. Uh, of course, this one's already done, but uh, the only thing you're going to do is along the dotted line, you're just going to simply make one fold. And that's all the folding you're going to do um, on this one. But a couple things I want you to do in each one of them. Um, at the top, when you actually get it folded, um, you know, so I've put the lesson EQ there. All I want you to do is you put our unit EQ, um, the one that, uh, as far as uh, it's, you know, what do I find when I investigate the relationship between uh, the angles formed by parallel lines cut by transversal? Go ahead and put that here. Um, and that way, as we go through, we're actually going to see the relationship. We're going to see how it works. Um, all right, on your first one, and if you want here, you can put uh, alternate interior angles. That would be the first one. Um, and as you write it, um, and do each one of them in a different color. Um, that way, again, I love to color code everything. It just makes it easier when I go back to try to find it as a resource. So when I open it up on that same one that I wrote alternate interior angles, I'm going to go ahead and draw my lines cut by tra uh, transversal. And remember, the transversal line is the line that cuts through the two parallel lines. Um, and as we go through the lessons, you're going to notice there's all kinds of different uh, ways that this is turned and formed. And uh, uh, so you're just going to be able to apply everything that we learn. And so what I did here, the alternate interior angles, I put the red. So they're alternate, and they're inside the parallel lines. So alternate interior angles, the red. And then I did the other set of alternate interiors, uh, green. So that's uh, yeah, that takes care of your alternate interior angles. Um, and right here, I went ahead and wrote a little small note. And this is something I encourage you to do as you go through. That's what foldables are for. Alternate interior angles are congruent, uh, which means they have the same measure. In other words, if this one's 70 degrees, this one's 70 degrees. If this one's 50 degrees, this one's 50 degrees. They're going to have the same measure, uh, and that's what uh, congruent is talking about. Okay, so you, if you need to, go ahead and pause, but to pause between each one. Make sure you get it, um, and that way it's okay to do that. It's okay to slow down and make sure you get each one of them right. The next one that uh, on the foldable that I went ahead and did was alternate exterior angles. You know, we talked about this in our activator yesterday. You know, we look here... You know, alternate interior inside the parallel lines, alternate exterior on the outside. You, know, you have on the outside of the parallel lines, uh, alternate side here. Al on the outside, alternate exterior, same thing here. Again, these guys have the same measure, alternate exterior. And something I want to go back and kind of mention here uh, that I didn't mention before. Now, if I take both of these together, that's going to equal 180 degrees. Because all together, when I go all the way around, they're going to be 360. So keep that in mind. If this one's 70, well, this one has to be 110. So I mean, because they have to equal 180. Anytime uh, you get half of a circle, you know, from here to here, here to here, here to here, um, anytime you take half, they're going to equal 180. Again, so now let me skip back down to alternate exterior. Um, if you want, go ahead and make notes here uh, on your own notes and understand that they are the same. Um, you can write the same thing you did here except put alternate exterior. Okay. The next one, as we go down, corresponding angles. When I open the foldable up, I notice I go, and the way I remember this, I remember outside, inside. They're the same measure. Outside, inside. So if you notice the blue, and then I look outside, inside, they're corresponding. Outside, inside, they're corresponding. Again, outside, inside. Again, they're congruent. So uh, corresponding, outside, inside. One's outside the parallel lines, one's inside. And again here, they're the same measure. So if this one is uh, 110 degrees, this one's 110 degrees. And the last one that um, I'm going to deal with um, through the foldable is vertical angles. You're going to see a lot of these. When you look at vertical angles, you look straight across. They're vertical. So here, this, uh, this one right here, and this one, they're congruent. They're vertical angles. Um, again, same measure. Uh, they're equal. Remember here to here, 180. 
here to here 180 but these are going to be the same so and that's kind of the way that one goes if that one's uh, measure again our corresponding angle would be here but these two are going to be vertical these two are going to be vertical these two are vertical these two are vertical and again it's and it's part of it, but it, the one way I remember this too is some people remember you can kind of create this and you look at it and the inside looks like a little bow tie so that's kind of just one of the ways people remember it uh, is vertical angles create the bow tie so and, and that's your foldable uh, just a quick uh, another tool